We can add river otters to the list of wildlife making a comeback in the Chicago region. A new research project aims to find out exactly how many are in the area and what the public can do to make sure they stick around. WTTW News reporter Patty Wetley joins us now to tell us how otters found their way back to Chicago rivers. So Patty, why do we think these otters are here in Chicago? Well, actually, they were almost extinct in Illinois as recently as 1989. There were only a hundred of them left in the entire state. Um, and the Illinois Department of Natural Resources actually went through an entire recovery program, releasing about 350 of them into some of the state's rivers. Um, the closest spot was about 150 miles from Chicago. The fact that they've found their way up into our neck of the woods is actually a pretty good sign for the otters and uh, for the health of our rivers. So now it's just a matter of figuring out where exactly they're at and how many of them there are. So how can people get involved in the project? Yeah, there's this brand new research project out of the Cook County Forest Preserve District, very similar to an urban coyote project that they have going on. Um, included in my article is a link to a form that people can fill out when or if they uh, spot a coyote that will help the researchers know like maybe where to go to try and tag some, some of these with transmitters so that they can follow them and start to get a better understanding of their behaviors and where exactly they're moving around in our region. And real quick, if someone is heading out otter spotting, uh, what are some of the clues they should be looking for? Well, otters can be mistaken for muskrat and beavers, so good to know the difference. Um, otters are kind of somewhere in the middle size-wise. Um, you might also look for signs of otter latrines, which is the waste that they leave um, around. So fish scales, fish bones, piles of clamshells. Um, you might be nearing an otter. You might smell it before you see it. <laughs> might smell it before you get there. And that link yes. that you mentioned, Patty, thank you so much, Patty Wetley, of course, that link that you mentioned, yeah. uh, you can read Patty's full story on our website. That's WTTW.com slash news.